Hey guys, Jaden here with XLR. I was just wanted to do a quick video today on the installation of the new Hunter DBM. It's pretty quick and simple, but I just wanted to walk you through the process. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our fix it sticks and grab our 3 16 extended bit and go ahead and remove our barreled action. you don't lose your action screws here because I've definitely seen it a time or two and then also make sure you don't lose your front action screw washer and go ahead and remove that barrel to action set it to the side next we're gonna remove the grip is pretty long-winded so it might take you a sec to remove it don't do that so your grip screw your grip to the side now we're gonna go ahead and remove the trigger guard so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the back one we need our 5 30 seconds bit this back one's gonna sit right behind where the grip screw is threaded in. There we go. And now we're gonna remove the front trigger guard screw. So that one's gonna sit right in front of where your trigger would be. It's gonna be just behind this little wall right here. This one does have a washer on it too. So make sure you don't lose that washer whenever you take this off. Just like that. Now we're going to take our new Hunter DBM. When we're looking at the bottom of the chassis, there's going to be a cutout for the actual trigger guard. And so it's going to sit just below flush, kind of snap in there like that. I'm going to start with our front trigger guard screw. Go ahead and tighten it up and then back it off just a little bit. You don't want to fully tighten it yet. Then take our 5 30 seconds bit. Go ahead and do your rear trigger guard screw. Same thing. Don't quite tighten it up all the way. Now we're going to grab our torque limiter and we're going to torque these to 10 inch pounds. I know 10 doesn't sound like a lot. There's not many threads that are holding these on, so I don't want you to strip out your chassis. Torque that rear one, then the front one, and it doesn't matter, you can do the front one and the rear one. Pull that off. So now the trigger guard's good to go. We're gonna go ahead and put our grip back on. I like to actually put my grip screw in there before I actually put it on the chassis. Set your grip on, and then you can go ahead and start these threads.
Now we're going to reinstall our barrel to action. Notice the front action screw washer, make sure you have that on there. But also notice that when I'm doing this, I like to do everything up and down. And that way your recoil lug is seated all the way into the chassis. You know you're not gonna have any accuracy issues over time. Snug that one. Take your rear. these to 65 inch pounds. I start with the front, then go to the rear, then go back to the front. And then go back to the rear. So now everything's good to go there. So now we'll show you just how to adjust the adjustable DBM on the hunter trigger guard. In order to set your mag catch height on the adjustable DBM portion, the first thing we're gonna do is loosen this button head screw. You do not need to remove it all the way. Just go ahead and loosen it enough to where it's not touching this eccentric pin. The next part, is gonna be this eccentric pin. And if you look on the eccentric, there's gonna be a line right here. That line is going to point at our min and max range. So that's what those two dots are. There's also a line in the middle, and that's gonna show the center line, which is where most magazines are gonna run. But as you can see, if I insert that, that's gonna allow us to move that adjustable DBM. Set your adjustable DBM to the correct height. The first thing I like to do is insert my magazine. If it moves on you, you can just go ahead and move the latch. That'll allow it to click in. And as you can see there, we have a little bit of height movement. So then I will go until it's a super tight lockup. Just holding up on the magazine. And as we can see here, this magazine locks in the tightest when it's at the center line. So I can go ahead and remove my mag. If you push up and down right here, you can also move the eccentric. So I'm gonna set it right at that middle line where it locked up tight. And then I'm gonna go ahead, hold right here on the bottom of your DBM latch and tighten this button head, making sure that your eccentric does not move. Now when I insert my magazine, it's going to have a super tight lock up and there's no up and down movement. The reason we did this is if you take a different magazine, say my L3i mag, insert it in, we still get that up and down movement. Magazines don't hold the tightest tolerances and so this is a good accommodation for it. So that kind of concludes the installation of the Hunter DBM and how to adjust the adjustable DBM. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 970-241-1807 or shoot us an email at info at xlrindustries.com. Thanks for watching.